We all think about the glove hand at the top of the backswing, or you've definitely had sensations of feeling that in order to try and get this club face somewhere near square. But I want you to lose that thought. I want you to focus on where your trail hand is. Now think about this logically. The reason why I'm saying this is most of us, if we're right-handed, we're right-hand dominant. If you're left-handed, you're left-hand dominant. So we're gonna focus on your trail hand. So your right hand for right-handed player and exactly what position it has to be in at the top. Now this is gonna improve your ball striking because simply it's gonna take your face from open to nice and strong. And that means hitting the golf ball easier, longer and more often. Now I put together here five steps for you to follow and you know by following each and every one of these steps and me talking it through this way, it's something that's going to last in your game. It's not a flash in the pan, it's not gonna happen and go, if you promise me you follow these five steps, it will really improve your game. Now, the first thing I want you to say is I want you to have a good blend of your grip. Now, what I mean by a good blend, it's like we're wringing out a towel. We need equal and opposite forces in the same way. So I always start and have a look at this in player cam with my palms facing me and I wring my hands over to the point where both these creases start to run into our right shoulder. Ring it over, this is exactly the idea I have. So I'm not too dominant in my right, I'm not too dominant in my left. Point number one is just feel that nice blend. Really feel that nice blend. Now, point number two. Before I tell you this, right, I, I followed this exact same process with four different students just last week. One of them was Susan, one of them was Kev, one of them was John, one of them was Tom. Right, and all of them came to me the idea of trying to square this club face at the top, but they've been so focused on this wrist. And they had it some days and then it went others, but this really made it last. So the drill is, as num point number two, is get a tee peg and place it between the thumb, okay, of your first finger on your right hand. So your, your bottom hand on the golf club. So if you're left-handed, this would just be your left hand. If you're right-handed, this is your right hand. I saw actually a lot of comments of people saying, Alex, make sure you mention us left-handers. So here you go. I'm trying my best to not get this muddled up and mention you left-handers. We're already on to point number three in this video. So we take our grip again with equal and opposite forces and we've got that T-peg in there. What you've got to be able to do here is make three Yes, three practice swings in a row where you achieve this. If you do two and then you lose it, you need to promise me you go back and make three again. It's really important that you're able to establish this position with three in a row before you even think about taking a shot. Okay, so what I'm looking for, and I'll show you this from a great view, is at the top of the backswing, the tee peg to feel like it's pointing more over your head. If it points down into your right shoulder, this means you're very, very cupped. So we've got to be able to make three swings where we go, boom, pause, check, more over my head. Pause, check, more over my head. So let me show you the importance of this. If I hold this up here, and you can see my club head, now we've got a nice neutral grip. If my right wrist gets more extended, if my right wrist moves in this fashion, and my left lit wrist gets very cupped, you can see my club face opens and my tee peg points into my shoulder. If I get it more pointing over my head, if they're up here, my club face now is a lot stronger and even maybe possibly slightly closed, which I actually don't think is a bad thing for a lot of golfers. So understand the relationship between the tee peg. More at the shoulder, weaker, more open, more over the head, stronger. So for point, don't fall over this, Alex. For point number three, I want you to make three practice swings where you feel the tee peg points over your head. So I really feel like I'm educating your hands now with this tee peg. So you've now got to go onto stage number four where after you've hit, let's say three shots away, you're comfortable enough to go, you know what? I'm gonna check it out here. And following this process, the way I'm establishing it now with you and showing you, it will really give you a good idea of how you make this last. So every three shots, right? You're gonna hit three shots away with that exact same feeling. Look at that fly. And then you're gonna stand over the golf ball and you're gonna really go, right, pause. Don't move your wrists, check. 
if it's more at your shoulder, you know you've got to feel this right wrist is more under the golf club, not on the side. More under, not on the side. To really get an understanding of a much stronger and squarer club face. I would also say at stage number four, I was getting a little carried away there because I've done this a few times. But what I said to my four students was, come on, let's do this at like 50% speed. Give yourself a chance. When you're trying to learn something new, we've got to take a little bit of speed out. Okay, stage number five is just where you're going to be hopefully a little bit more comfortable and give me a little bit more normal speed if we can. But please promise me this. If you start hitting them and you're losing it, go back to 50% speed with the T-peg in there. That is the best way I can promise you. We're going to make long lasting changes to your golf swing on some simple golf tips down here on the channel. So the whole, whole idea of today's video is getting the angle at the top where we're stronger, we're squarer, we're not weak and we're not open. And that's really vital if we want to improve our ball striking. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for free simple golf tips.